Hi, welcome to lecture 42. Today we're going to talk more about tables and specifically this tools area up here that appears when you're inside a table and the table tools design tab comes up. I just want to review briefly these three options that are in the tool section. First one's easy if you've seen any of the pivot table videos that I've done. What this does is say, hey, you've worked really hard, you've got a table you want here, summarize it with a pivot table. And Excel's smart enough that where it knows what the range is, it knows that you've got column headings, all you've got to do is click. And it says, what's your table range? I want the EM table. Where do you want it? In a new worksheet. There's a pivot table. There's all the data. And you can start counting patients, put the physician. You've got everything you want to know right there in a pivot table. Pretty uh, fast and easy. Let's come back over here. And I want to show you how the other two things work. So if we come back to the design, let's uh, spend a minute on remove duplicates. Remove duplicates will go through, and let's just click inside the table. It really doesn't matter where. If you click there, it says, if you want to delete these duplicate values, tell me where they are. And so I'm going to unselect all the columns, and I'm going to go through and say, all right, for each of the column headings, what do I want to delete? Let's do... Uh, doctor first because I know I don't have very many doctors so if I only want to see one claim from each doctor and that's all I want to see I can do that and it will say hey I've got 492 duplicates because there's only seven physicians in there and the rest are duplicate names of doctors and seven unique values you can click OK and you have it if you want uh, to remove duplicates and I only want one patient from each city for example I've got 15 unique cities and it'll remove all the duplicates for me. I'm going to undo that so we can come back and play with it in a minute. You don't have to be in a table to use this remove duplicates feature. If you've got a list of data and you want to quickly get rid of anything that's duplicative, you can go to the data tab and this button here will do the same thing outside of a table setting. You don't have to have a table to do the remove duplicates trick. Last button here converts to a range. If you don't like these drop down headings or the way that the table structured or you don't need the functionality that's in a table for whatever reason you can convert to range it's back to a normal range and then the formatting stays but you see I don't have sorting filtering all those other options have gone away now and everything else I tell you about tables is no longer applicable to this data if I convert it to a range that's all there is to the tool section of the tables tools design tab. Stay tuned, we've got one more uh, video to talk about tables. Thanks for watching.